Today's topic is on physical basis of mental life. Behaviors believe that thought processes such as mind cannot be studied scientifically and objectively, and therefore it should be ignored. They believe only one type of reality exists, tools that we can see, we can feel, and we can touch. And mind and brain are the same thing. Thus, this approach is known as monism. On the other hand, we have dualism. They hold that humans have a dual nature, one part mental and other physical. Mind and body are distinct. There are different theories regarding to the relationship between mind and body. The theory of psychophysical parallelism, theory of interactionism, etc. But, but actually, the solution to find the relation between mind and body is beyond the scope of psychology. However, we can accept that our mind and body share a close relationship. For example, injured or disease to a part of the brain produce mental disorder. If you are sick or if you have a mild headache and you keep on sleeping the whole day feeling that you are sick, then it becomes more worse. So that's our some simple example. Hence, to know more about the relationship between mind and body, we have to understand the functions of the nervous system. Let us discuss the nervous system in detail. Human nervous system can be categorized into two major parts or subdivision. The first one, the central nervous system, brain and spinal cord. The second one, peripheral nervous system, constitute the sensory pathway and motor pathway. It's a highly complex part that coordinates its actions and sensory information by transmitting signals to and from different parts of our body. Remember, all cells of our nervous system are made up of neurons. Nervous system has its three main functions. Number one, sensory input. Sensory input is when body gathered information or data. It is the stimuli that is perceived by our senses like smell, touch, taste, sight, and hearing. Anything that we perceive using our senses can be called as sensory input. Number two, integration of data. When nerves conduct impulses, and sensory receptor to the brain and spinal cord. The information or data that is received are processed by the way of integration of data, which occurs only in the brain. This process acts as messenger that relates signal between motor and sensory neuron. Lastly, the motor output. After the brain has processed the information, impulses are then conducted from the brain and spinal cord to the muscle and glands, which are called motor output. In symbol, motor neuron transmit information between organs, glands, and muscles. Our nervous system consists of about 100 billion of neurons, which are in its simple parts. The neuron is the structural unit of the nervous system. Neurons are specialized to carry messages through an electrochemical process. A neuron is a nerve cell which has two types of branches, one single axon and a number of dendrites. Dendrites bring electrical signal to the cell body and axon take information away from the cell body. When nerve cells neuron communicate with one another produce electrical signal simply known as nerve impulse. Nerve impulse is an energy change in the neuron 
this occur when neuron is stimulated. The messages carried by neuron are called nerve impulses. Nerve impulses can travel very quickly because they are electrical impulses. What is synapsis? The place where the axon of one neuron meet the dendroid of another is called a synapsis. The synapsis is not a physical object like the neuron. It is the point of junction between the axon of the neuron and the dendron of the next or two neuron in the conduction part of a nerve impulses. When a nerve impulse reaches the end of an axon, the axon releases chemical called neurotransmitter. Let us talk about today's main topic, that is the CNS, also known as central nervous system. The brain and spinal cord form the central nervous system. This complex system is a part of everything we do. It controls the things we choose to do, like walking, talking, breathing, digestion, etc. The brain and spinal cord are protected by bony structure, membranes, and fluid. The brain is a very delicate organ launched inside the gut of the skull. It is protected by the bones of the skull and by a covering of three thin membranes known as meninges. Dura matter, arachnoid matter, via matter are the meninges. The brain gives us self-awareness and the ability to speak and move in the world. Its four major regions make this possible. The first one, the cerebrum. It is the largest part of the brain divided into two, the right and the left part called cerebral hemisphere. The cerebral, with its cerebral cortex, gives us control and initiate voluntary muscle contraction. It receives and processes information from the sense organ. It also carries our mental activities of thinking, reasoning, planning, memorizing, etc. The second part of brain is called the siphon. This is the part of the fourth brain lying below the cerebrum. It consists of the following two parts, thalamus and hypothalamus. The siphon mediates sensation manage emotion and command all internal system. The third brain is called the cerebellum. The cerebellum is the smaller region of the brain located at the base and under the cerebrum. The cerebrum is the second largest part of the brain, like the cerebrum. The cerebrum has left and right hemisphere and has numerous spheres. The main function of cerebrum are number one, maintain the balance of the body, and number two, coordinate muscle activity. The last part of brain is called the medulla oblongata. It is the last part of the brain which is connected to the spinal cord. The medulla oblongata plays a critical role in transmitting signal between the spinal cord and the higher part of the brain. The function of medulla oblongata are number one, it is the central for breathing, coughing, swallowing, etc. Number two, it controls heartbeat, the movement of lament. The spinal cord extends from the medulla of the brain downward almost the whole length of the backbone. The spinal cord consists of nerves that carry incoming and outgoing messages between the brain and the rest of the body. It is also wrapped in the same three meninges as the brain and the space between them contain the same cerebrospinal fluid. Its functions are 1. Carry out reflex below the neck 2. Conduct sensory impulses from the skin and muscle to the brain. 
tree conduct motor responses from the brain to the trunk and limb. Now let us go to our second important topic that is the peripheral nervous system. The peripheral nervous system consists of all nerves arising from the brain and the spinal cord. Overall, it consists of two kinds of pathway, the afferent and the efferent. The first, that is the afferent, also known as receiving or pathway, it included in two kinds of nerves. Number one, purely sensory nerves. For example, the carnal nerves received from the eyes, ear, nose, etc. The second one, that is the mixed carnal nerves, like the fit facial nerves which contain sensory fibers bringing sensation from the face but it also contain motor fibers which carry impulses away to the jaw muscle. The second one there is the ephraim also known as sending pathway may be subdivided into somatic and auto autonomic nervous system. The somatic nervous system controls the voluntary muscles. It includes most carnal nerves as well as the motor nerve fiber of the spinal nerve. Both these convey message from the central nervous system to the voluntary muscles. The second one that is autonomic nervous system this integrates the involuntary muscles and the gland. It consists of pair of a chain of galites and nerves on either side of the backbone. This system is essentially a motor system which regulates the involuntary action of the internal organ. It consists of two parts, A, sympathetic nervous system and B, parasympathetic nervous system. Look at the figure below. It will give you a detailed example of the autonomic nervous system that is parasympathetic nerves and sympathetic nerves. We have a part 2 coming up on the next one. So please subscribe and hit the notification bell button so that you will not miss any update.